What is up boys, it is Yara Wins, and I'm back with another Fever 21 formation and tactics guide video. Now in this video, I'm gonna bring you a cover all bases system. So I will give you tactics for ultra defensive, defensive attacking and ultra attacking. And essentially these will be tactics that you will use at different points of a match in foot champions, for example. So ultra defensive is when you need to hold the lead and ultra attacking when you really need a goal. So getting right into it, we will start off with the ultra defensive. Now the formation I've gone with for this is the 5 4 one uh, The reason for that is I quite like the way that there is natural width in this formation and obviously you have the five uh, defenders, the four midfielders across the, across the pitch and they basically really give you a solid feeling and do not give you the opponent any space really for those passes, those through balls and it does give you some support and opportunity to keep the ball as well, which is very effective and very important. So getting straight into the defensive style, drop back, not something I particularly enjoy, but yeah, for this particular situation when you need to hold out a lead, for example, maybe last five, 10 minutes or extra time, it is quite effective. For the width, again, you're gonna wanna keep this more or less balanced the formation already is very wide, so you don't really want to touch that too much. For the depth, you don't want to be too deep because, yeah, inviting too much pressure is also counterintuitive. You don't want to be sitting on your goal line and essentially just allowing your opponent to constantly attack and get shots away. So having it on a reasonable three bars is enough. For the offensive style, long ball, because you're playing sort of one main striker just staying up there, and your left and right midfielders helping out. Long ball is an effective tactic, especially if your players have pace and attack positioning. They can get away, break away on the counter, and yeah, it's just an effective offensive style. Again, for the width, offensive width, same reasoning as the, the defensive one. Just keep that unbalanced. Players in box three should be more or less fine. You don't want to be too risky, but you do sometimes want at least some support, especially when you're counter-attacking, if you have enough opportunity to do that. Corners and free kicks, again, because you're not risking, you don't need a goal, so you keep that on the minimum one. Now, for the instructions, for your main central striker, stay central, get in behind, stay forward. For your left and right midfield, just balance across the board, but get into the box of the cross. For your two central midfielders, stay on the edge of the box, stay back while attacking, cover center. Again, you don't want them going forward. You just want them sitting, sitting back, sitting in there, keeping the ball, not risking anything. And fullbacks, stay back while attacking. So we move on to the second system, and that is the 4-2-3-1. Now for this defensive system, you would use this, for example, if you've got an early lead or you want to sort of sit back for a while try to sort of study your opponent, figure out what is the best way to go in terms of how aggressive you want to be. So this system will essentially allow you to keep possession and not take too many risks going forward and not leave that many spaces in behind for yourself. So yeah, for defensive style, again, balance, I think is the best way to go. It gives you the, I guess, the most balanced and, and the best option if you haven't yet decided what kind of play style you want to implement in a match. For the width, defensive width, again, balanced is normally the way to go. You don't want to be tinkering or toying with that too much. Keeping on balance also basically covers off the wide threat as, long as, uh, as much as the central threat. Because I found that opponents are quite utilizing or quite utilizing well the channels so basically on the flanks a lot of through balls are going in there with fast players a lot of opponents that i've noticed are trying to sort of spam crosses so really if anything you could potentially go a bit wider to cover off those wide threats for the depth you're going to be quite low so four bars again you want to minimize that space in behind you want players to be quite deep to give you more passing support and that also links in with the offensive possession style. You're going to want to basically just keep possession, keep the ball, and sort of decide what kind of game style or match style you want to go forward with. 
full of width and players in the box again similar to the pattern you just want to keep it balanced no particular risks involved and corners and free kicks again slightly higher than the ultra defensive but again not too risky just keep it on two for the instructions for your central striker balance width getting behind stay forward for your left and right attacking mid get into the box of the cross but basic and default for everything else for your central cam free roam and basic across the board and then for your two cdms cut passing lanes stay back while attacking cover center and also stay back for both your fullbacks now we move on to the more interesting and more fun tactics and those are for the attacking and ultra attacking so we start off with the regular attacking so this is what i usually start a match with it gives me the front foot and i tend to go for an early goal so that formation is the 4-3-3 fourth variant so it is what the one with the cam and the two cms for defensive style press on heavy touch again this is hit and miss for some people because if you're not great at defending you may leave too many sort of spaces in behind because your players do sort of press the ball and leave some spaces but if you're confident if you've mastered it it is effective because it puts your opponent under pressure you can sort of get interceptions you can quickly break and counter attack and i found that it is quite overpowered and i think you've, if you've seen my previous guides i have spoken about it previously so yeah for, that's for the defensive style uh, for the width again similar to what i've just said for the previous formation you want to cover off those wide threats so keep it just slightly above balanced i mean i guess the 4-3-3 is already quite a wide formation in itself if you have your wingers tracking back but yeah just keep it slightly above balanced for the depth quite aggressive on seven bars again this sort of coincides with the press on heavy touch because you, you want a high line to hopefully win the ball as quickly as possible as high up the pitch as possible and hopefully yeah just counter and break away and get those goals for the offensive style long ball once again because i have at least one sort of fast fast striker and sometimes i sub on really fast strikers the long ball is very effective i tend to get a lot of opportunities from playing it in behind getting those pacey strikers in there with good attack positioning and i get a lot of one-on-ones now for the offensive width again similar to the defensive side you do want to make use of the wide players yourself you want to also drag away defenders to give your central striker and the cam in behind him to have more space in the center of the pitch so yeah you want to go basically six or seven on the width players in box seven as well because again it's quite aggressive you want to just push a lot of players forward overload the defense and hopefully get a lot of opportunities to score for corners again for me i like to potentially score from corners so i like that support but if you don't really like those kind of set pieces, then obviously you can drop that a bit down. But that is my tactic. In terms of the instructions, for the central striker, getting behind, stay forward, balance width. For my left wing, because he is the, the pacey player, I want him staying forward, cutting inside, getting him behind and getting to the box. Whereas my right wing is more of a playmaker, so his is uh, on free roam, balance support, get into the box he's not as fast so i want him sometimes dropping deep and he can also support the defense because he has great stamina i think silver stamina is above 90 whereas hazard is not very useful in defensive situations so i want him just staying forward again wijnaldum my cam this is very specific because he's kind of a box to box so he gets into the box and he scores quite a lot of goals as well but because he has great stamina and quite good defending he also has like a basic defense support so he does track back sometimes helps out and the only sort of sitting midfielder i have is casemiro with a cdm stay back while attacking balance crossing runs cover center again even for him because it's quite an aggressive system i have him on balance whereas not staying on the edge of the box so he can sometimes also get forward and potentially hopefully score a goal and for the other central mid just balanced across the board and covering center also and then just the fullbacks remain stay back for both of them now we come to the final tactic and that of course is the ultra attacking 424 now this system is only really used when you desperately need a goal 
so maybe the last five or ten minutes or like extra time or if you're very confident in your defending and maybe you can see it against a player that is clearly not as good as you you can maybe use it for a very short time within like the middle middle or start of a game so in terms of the defensive style constant pressure the width is quite balanced for the defensive side you don't want to touch that too much because defending is not really your priority or what you're using this system for whereas the depth you're going to go high as high as you can really without being reckless so leave it on eight bars now we move on to the actual offensive style fast build up again it's very risky don't necessarily like to ever use that because you push forward very quickly and you leave too many spaces in mind for my liking but in this system you do need to do it you want to basically get forward as quickly as possible and just basically overload and rush the defense so yeah that is the reason for that for the offense you want to drop the width a bit low because you already have wingers and two strikers so if you have too much width really if you know what i mean you're not going to basically make use of having all those players in support you want them quite bunched up because that will basically have more players in the box and naturally you're going to have wide threats regardless so you don't need that artificial width by having it too high so yeah i would leave it on four bars players in box almost maxed out and corners of free kicks maxed out for the instructions one striker stay central game behind stay forward for both one balance width for my right wing i have stay forward cut inside getting behind aggressive interceptions get into the box for my left wing Again, because I use Wijnaldum, who is not really a winger, he is kind of an all-round player because he sometimes helps defend, but he gives some kind of defensive width as well. And yeah, he gives basic defense support, balance width, balance support, but he does get into the box also, aggressive interceptions. Both fullbacks join the attack, so that is kind of the reason for that. Uh, because the fullbacks are going forward, I do have Wijnaldum sometimes also getting going backwards I guess to also help out cover that support from Tellez who puts in good crosses with his left foot. Casemiro stay back while attacking, balanced crossing runs, aggressive interceptions, cover centre and Modric balance attack, get into the box, cover centre. So yeah guys those are the instructions, that is the formations, the systems. Now I will add some actual clips of gameplay to show you different parts of matches and basically show you specific moments when these systems actually work and when you should use them but yeah guys hopefully this video did help you out hopefully this system or these systems will help you in foot champions if you have any questions as always leave the comments down below like the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you are new and yeah guys enjoy the rest of the clips and i'll see you on the next video peace
inside. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we're chasing leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And Through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun.